Do you want to start selling your products on multiple channels like Shopify, Amazon, Etsy, eBay, but you don't have the time to set up each one individually? No problem, we have got you covered and in this video tutorial we are going to be going through an app called Sellberry that actually lets you connect everything through one platform so that you can easily duplicate your products over and make the integration process seamless, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Elle McCann from Curious Themes Web Development Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. We've been Shopify experts for over five years now, and I am so excited to be partnering with Cellberry for this video for you today. Now, as I mentioned before, Cellberry instantly connects all of these different platforms together for you, so it actually saves you so much time. So as an entrepreneur, of course, time is super valuable. So I'm excited to be sharing this app with you. So as I mentioned before, Cellberry is an app that connects into your Shopify store and then you can connect it to other platforms to list your products there like Amazon, eBay, Etsy, and there are so many more. It also syncs your order and inventory numbers throughout all platforms so you avoid the risk of overselling, which is a definite way to upset customers really fast. Plus, it saves you so much time from actually having to add the products into all these different channels manually. So in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through the process of actually adding in the Sellberry app to my Shopify store, Tomo Fit Apparel, and connecting that through to my Etsy store so that all my products in Shopify are synced to my Etsy store as well. Okay, so I'm about to switch to my computer screen view so that you can see me actually setting up the Cellberry app. But before I do, I do want to mention to check out the link in the description below and make sure to click that there because it's going to let you sign up for a 14-day free trial and you'll then be able to follow along with me with setting up your Cellberry app for your Shopify store. So make sure to click the link below and get started. Okay, so enough talk. Let's head back into my computer. So now we are on the Cellberry website, which you can get to again by clicking the link in the description below. So you can see a little bit more about them here. I also wanted to highlight their pricing because I think that it is actually one of the most reasonable app prices out there. So you can see here that you can start with a 14 day free trial, but then once your free trial is over, it really is very cost effective. So for their lowest plan, which includes 100 SKUs, and unlimited orders, it's only 19 euros per month. So it makes it really affordable. And of course, you can also save more by doing an annual plan and paying all up front. So I just wanted to highlight that there, but let's go ahead. So you'll hit this free trial button and enter your information here and click start free trial to get signed up. Now I already created a Cellberry account, so we are going to hop over into that now. And before I get started into it, so this is the dashboard of the app, I want to show you a little bit more of what we're trying to accomplish today. So I have a Shopify store named Tomo Fit Apparel, which sells women's fitness clothing. And so you can see here, this is my website right now. And these are some of my products that I'm wanting to get featured on my Etsy store. So this is a Shopify store where I have a variety of t-shirts and tank tops. And so I'm also wanting to sell them on Etsy as well. So I created an Etsy store and you can see here I have some images, I've got my logo and description, but I have no products yet. So I want to add the exact same products that I have in my Shopify store over here to my Etsy store. Now, the benefit of doing that is that you're able to capture people who are shopping on many different platforms. So I definitely still think that there is so much value in having your own Shopify store, having your domain that you can refer people to, but it's also a great idea to open up other stores on different platforms like Etsy, Amazon, or eBay, so that you can really start capturing people and getting them to order no matter where they're finding you from. So if they're already a huge Etsy fan, maybe they are 
looking for fitness clothes on Etsy and then they come across you as well where they may not have Googled you and, and tried to find you out previously. So it's a great way to go in and make sure that you're getting as much traffic and eyeballs on your products no matter what platform you're in. And again, Cellberry makes it really easy to get everything pulled over so you're not having to manually create that every time. So we are going to start off by doing this create new project. This is the first time that I'm opening it, so we're wanting to go ahead and get this set up. Okay, and we're going to want to add our store in first. So we're going to hit add channel, this button down here, and we are going to first select Shopify. And I just clicked it over here, and now I'm going to drag and drop it on the right hand side. So there are two different ways of kind of knowing which way you're going with the install. So we have an import feature, so we are wanting to import our products from our Shopify store and then we're wanting to export them onto Etsy. So now we're gonna come up here and we're gonna click on Etsy and pull that over as well. Okay, so we're going to click back in on Shopify and it has import here and we're just gonna hit the settings. And we're gonna hit new connection because we want to get this connected. You can see that it says disconnected there. So now we're going to just input our credentials over here to get this connected to our Shopify store. So for shop name, we're going to go to the back end of our Shopify store, and I'm going to copy in this tomofit.myshopify.com and paste it in there. And then next for API key and password, I'll hop back into Shopify and show you how to get that information. So I am in the apps area of my Shopify backend. So you can see over here in the left-hand menu apps, and you can see here the apps that I already have available from the Shopify app store. However, if you scroll down, you'll click manage private apps, and we're gonna hit create new private app. So we're going to name the app Cellberry, and I'm just going to put my email address. Okay. Next, for the permissions, I'm going to switch all of these over to read and write access because I want to make sure that the app doesn't have any issues with connecting and doing what it's supposed to do. Next, we'll hit save. And then you're prompted by this pop-up telling you that you need to keep your API credentials safe because if you share this with someone, you're then able to kind of give them access to your store, which you don't want to do. So you're just going to hit this I understand, create the app, and then it's going to give you an API key and a password that you will then enter here. So I'm going to do this real quick, but you can go ahead and do that now and hit connect. Okay, great. So now it's showing that we are connected. So before it said disconnected, and you can see here that it's also updating as well. So we are now given the options to update our products. So we want to process products automatically, and you could then choose the hours to do that. And you can also choose what products you want to publish. So for here, I can choose by collection, by vendor. So if you chose collection, then you could then put the collection ID. However, I wanna do all products, and I'm gonna hit save. Okay, so now let's just go back to the main dashboard area. And I'm gonna hit projects over here. And here's our project that we already started with, our Shopify and Etsy, so I'm just gonna click in on that. And so now you can see that our Shopify store is connected and our Etsy store is not. So I'm just going to click on that and we'll hit save settings again. And again, new connection. So to get our Etsy credentials, it's just a little bit different of a process. So you can see here, if you click on this link here to etsy.com backslash developers, you're gonna actually have to create the app and register as a developer. So we'll just hit this register as a developer over here. So they have now given us these fields that we need to fill out. And Celery actually already has everything written out of how we need to fill that out. So if I come back here, so you'll see here this application name, they say to say Cellberry. And so I'm going to come in and type that in. 
and I'm just going to paste over their settings. Okay. So it says seller tools, just myself and colleagues. Okay. The application is not commercial and upload and edit listings domain here and say sellberry.com. Okay, and then now we just need to do the caption. And I'm going to click in there that I am not a robot and read the terms and create the app. So once you read those terms, you can then click the checkbox and click create app. Okay, so now it is set up for us here. And so you're just going to select the different items here, including the string and the shared secret, and you will then paste them back into here and hit connect. So I'll do this real quick as well. And once you enter and your information and hit connect, it's then going to prompt you again just to verify that you want to allow this access. And then now we can see that it is connected. So again, I'm going to process the products automatically and just hit save. So now we've done everything we need to do to set up our individual store. So let's head back to the project. Again, I'm gonna click on the menu and projects and click on this one that we have here. So we've got our Shopify store connected, which we can see here, and that's our import, and our Etsy store connected, and that's where we're wanting to export the products. However, you can see here, if I click on Shopify, it says import, and we need to change Etsy to be export. So I'm just going to click here and confirm that I want to change that to an export. Okay, so you can see me now the dots have changed a little bit. So we're just going to connect. And I'm just clicking and dragging over to show that these two are connected. So we have our Shopify import and our Etsy export. So we're just going to click again on Shopify and I'm gonna hit download. So this is showing that our download has started, that our products are being pulled over from, Shop from Shopify to Etsy, and so we can get that checked out. So we will just hit products here to go and see what it looks like. And now it's showing that we have 93 products that have been downloaded to the Shopify store. So if we click out of here and come to Etsy, we can also see that 93 products are connected there as well. So the final step that we need to do is mapping. So let's just come into products. And again, you can see them here. So we're just gonna hit mapping. And we're going to start mapping. So you can see over here, the elements on the left-hand side are from Shopify, and the elements on the right-hand side are from Etsy. So these are what is being connected over, and it's so that everything gets transferred in the correct place, and is all the information is carrying over for you. So you can also filter over here, and you can see all of the items, just the required and the preferred. So if we just click on requ required, we can see the items that we're needing to map over here. So we are just going to click an item over here. So let's do this first one, which is description. So we're going to do the description, which would be this body HTML, and put that, and now click on description. Okay, so it's added one, you can see here. And you're going to continue through this process of making sure that all of the required items have been mapped over. Now it's going to be different for each platform that you do this for, uh, but once you have your required items, it's just going to be selecting the item first from over here and selecting its correct counterpart on the right hand side as well. So once you are done mapping everything over, you're just going to hit this ready rolls at the bottom. And you'll see that we have 15 rules that are pulled over and you can see them here as well. Okay, so now that our mapping's done, we're gonna click on products. 
So now I'm just going to select all of the products that I want to push to my Etsy store. Now, I would normally want to go in and do all 93 products and get them up. However, for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to just do a few just to make it a little bit faster. So we're just going to select a few of this strong today sore tomorrow shirt and we'll just pick a couple different colors so we can see how that looks and then we'll also just put that top okay and we're going to hit upload here so now you are getting a prompt you can see here that it's being processed and that the upload has started so now we're going to go over to the back end of my Etsy store. So I'm just going to come in here and you'll just hit listings on the left hand side. And I clicked into the strong floral tank that we had put over. Now there are some edits that I need to do in terms of it showing a black background because this is a transparent PNG that I'm using. So obviously I need to edit that to where it is a white background and a solid color. It looks like Etsy is not a fan of transparent backgrounds, but overall the information came in and pulled over correctly. So you could just go in and review it by hitting this continue editing, or you can then hit publish to publish the product and put it live on your Etsy store. So overall, that is the step-by-step -step of how to set up the Cellberry app. As you can tell, it is super user-friendly and the steps are really kind of mapped out for you. So again, you can use this to connect to multiple different platforms. I was just using Etsy in this example because I already had an Etsy store, uh, but you can set that, this up for Amazon, eBay, and so many other platforms. Thanks so much for watching and I would love to hear what are your thoughts on the Cellberry app and what platforms are you interested in selling on? I would love for you to comment below this video and let us know and also make sure to click the link in the description below this video to get signed up for your free 14 day free trial with Cellberry. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.